Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be a SPF show down and I think it is a very interesting video to film this time throughout the year because right now it's probably getting a lot warmer and it is summer so you might be thinking a little bit more about oh do I need an SPF like should I be wearing something that protects my skin from the sun and the answer is always yes. Um, realistically you should be wearing an SPF every single day of the year because whether or not the sun is like bright and shining like it is in summer or it is you know going through clouds in the winter there's always some sun rays that are hitting your skin and that could be potentially harmful or could have an effect that you don't want. Now let me get into that a little bit more so whether you're sunbathing in the summer or you're just outside during daylight in the winter um, there are two types of rays being sort of sent to your skin or being sent from the sun that your skin can absorb. One are UVA rays and two is UVB rays. Now the difference between the two in terms of what it does to your skin, you can sort of build a bridge with the um, last letter of it. So UVA is the rays that will age your skin, hence the A in the UVA. I mean this is not the, you know, real explanation but in terms of you know the effect of your skin you can say like uva is what ages your skin and then uvb is what burns your skin so just you know keep that in mind if you quickly want to think about you know what does what uva age uvb burns now if you are anything like me you would likely want to avoid you know premature aging of your skin and also you know sunburns are not great they hurt your skin they can be really dangerous also in terms of developing more serious skin conditions you know even skin cancer um, so yeah, you do want to protect yourself against those rays and there are mainly two types of sunscreens that you can use. One is mineral and one is chemical. And I will be sort of giving you an overview of what a chemical and what a mineral sunscreen really does and then also sharing my experiences with one of each. So I have the Sun Project Sun Water Cream from Thank You Farmer to review for you and then also the Ordinary Sun Care, the Mineral UV Filters SPF 30 with antioxidants. So this one is chemical, this one is a mineral sunscreen. I'll explain what both of them do and then I'll go into detail on my experience with each one of these. So starting with the chemical SPF, it works in a way that it absorbs the UV rays and it transforms them to being non-harmful. So it takes out sort of the aging and burning part of it. Um, and how that works is it absorbs the UV rays into your skin, but then the chemicals in the sunscreen will transform those rays into heat and therefore making them non-harmful to your skin. So this is sort of how they work. And I also want to give you sort of two cons for each one. I'm not gonna go too much into the pros because you know the pros are more or less the same, but then of course the cons of one are sort of the pros of the other. So for the chemical SPF, one of the cons can be that chemical SPFs can irritate sensitive skin or even your eyes. Um, I have been speaking to my dermatologist a lot lately because I've been struggling with like more severe acne outbreaks. You can kind of see here that, um, you know, I, try, I tried to cover it, but um, I have been having some more severe acne. So I asked her which one she prefers and she gave me a different one from the two that I'm showing you right now. But it is a chemical one and just apl me applying that, you know, the fumes of that are so bad that they actually make my eyes water. So I've been thinking about going back to another one. The thing she really said that she wants me to do is not use an SPF that's very oily. But I think, you know, one of the ones that I'm going to show you is actually not that oily as well. So I might just go back to that because as I said, chemical SPF can really irritate sensitive skin or even your eyes. And then another thing that can happen with chemical SPF, and I know there's been a huge study in the US that sort of said, you know, not that many sunscreens are safe, but when you use a chemical SPF, it can absorb the chemicals too much in a sense, so that you will have certain chemicals in your bloodstream that you don't really want there. So those are the two cons of a chemical SPF. Now let's go into the physical or like mineral SPF, and then I'll share my experience with the two that I've just hinted that. So now a physical or a mineral SPF, as the name kind of says, it creates a physical barrier between your skin and the sun rays coming in. So the minerals in this physical or mineral SPF will reflect the UV rays so that they do not enter your skin at all. Um, different to the chemical of course because in the chemical one it just takes in the rays and transforms them. 
the physical or mineral SPF reflects them. So yeah, there is your difference. Now for the pros, of course, we're going to take the cons of the um, chemical one saying that physical or mineral SPFs don't tend to be as irritating to the skin and then obviously there's no chemicals to absorb into your bloodstream. But at the same time, a physical or mineral SPF can block your pores because they tend to have these bigger particles that can really, you know, block your pores. And then also because there is a physical barrier, you know, there's a, there's a particle that will reflect the light, um, it can temporarily alter the color of your skin. So what I found with using a physical SPF is that when I apply it, I sort of look purple and um, or some people say it gives them like a white overcast on their skin for a while so while it does not change your skin color permanently it can look really really strange when you first apply it and this is especially true if you are of a darker skin color i'm just going to show some clips in here to sort of demonstrate what i'm saying but essentially when you are a darker skin color it can really sort of whitewash your skin color if you're using a physical or mineral SPF and even for me who generally has very light skin um, the SPF definitely gives me this like white overcast that also makes me kind of look purple so that is something to keep in mind when you're thinking about using a non-chemical or mineral SPF now getting into the two that i have tried here as i've mentioned before the first one is the thank you farmer sun project sun water cream and this one is spf 50. i have to say this is my favorite sunscreen that i have tried so far so it is really really good it has a very very light formula it does not have a sun cream smell at all and i'm sure you know what i mean when i say sun cream smell um there are just sunscreens that have such a like distinctly sun cream smell that is not really really nice um, but this one does not have the smell at all uh, even though this is a chemical sunscreen I have not found this to irritate my skin it is not sticky on my skin and it goes it really it does go on like water and I can apply makeup very quickly after applying this one and the final thing that I really enjoy about this one is that it sort of gives your skin a glow so all in all, I have found this to be a fantastic sunscreen. Um, I have bought mine through Cold Beauty. Thank You Farmer is a K-beauty brand. So it is not, at least for me, it is not sold readily available everywhere. But on Cold Beauty, they have this. And I've ordered it there just on a whim. Just wanted to try out some kind of sunscreen that I can wear every single day. And I've just been super, super happy with this one on, you know, every occasion that I wore it. It has just been fantastic and I really want to get a second bottle. This one is probably down to like its very last bits. But yeah, complete recommendation for this one. Really love it. And then the other one I have here, as I said, is the Ordinary uh, Mineral UV Filters. And especially after having such a good run with the Thank You Farmer one, I was super excited to try a mineral SPF. And I was really interested to see how that one would work with my skin. So this one has a little bit lower SPF. This has 30 as opposed to 50 plus. And I have to say the formulation of this one is also a little bit heavier. And I feel like somewhat greasier than the, you know, water sun cream from Thank You Farmer. This one does have a little bit of a scent, but it is a sort of like clay scent. So to me, it's very natural. It does not bother me at all. I almost enjoy the scent of this one. Um, but it does leave my skin, as I mentioned, with, you know, generally what mineral and physical uh, SPFs can do. It does leave my skin with a very white film that can then turn me to look, you know, purple or whatever. And in terms of, you know, my skin getting along with this one, I don't want to say that this, you know, made my skin worse or made my acne worse. But I have noticed that while using this one, my acne, like around here, definitely did not do great. Like it didn't help, it didn't make it better. Um, it does go on a bit heavier. So I have to say, I've, I've tried this for a couple weeks now and I think I'm going to put this on a break and not use it for a while. Just because I really want to make sure that I'm getting or that I'm giving my skin what exactly it needs. And my dermatologist has said to not use you know anything that's oily she's given me a completely different gel to try 
but yeah this one probably won't be on my rotation for a while um it is kind of sad because i had really high expectations for this one i was hoping that this one would be you know just as fantastic of a sunscreen as this one is but i don't know currently it's not really working for me now in terms of a general recommendation of course it is very hard for me to say okay you must be using a chemical spf you must be using a physical spf um, I have read in some of the articles I was reading that, you know, there were dermatologists saying, you know, generally I would prefer a mineral SPF over a chemical one, um, but I'd rather have you use a chemical one than not any sunscreen at all. Um, for me, of course, my dermatologist specifically to me has said, well, just use something that does not have oil because oil will aggravate your acne and will make it worse. So for me to give you any recommendation, I think is kind of wrong. Um, I think I've given you sort of an overview of what each of them does. And if you're hesitant, you know, either talk to your dermatologist or if you can and you want to just try both and see which one works better for you. That being said, if you have any preference between mineral and chemical SPF, if you have one that you have been loving, whether it is chemical or mineral, please let me know in the comments. I'll be super, super grateful to have recommendations for sunscreens from you guys because I think, you know, sun cream is so important for the reasons that I've given in this video. And um, yeah, it is for me, it has become one of the non-negotiable parts of my makeup routine. So if you have a sunscreen that you can recommend, if you have a general preference towards chemical or mineral, then please let me know. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.